I'm going to insult you. I'm going to insult my brother. I'm going to insult the whole family. Today we're going to talk about what nobody wants this. This should be a very quick one, guys. Um, nobody wants this is a rom-com streaming on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. An agnostic, jeez oh, Louise. An agnostic sex podcaster and a newly single rabbi fall in love, discovering if their relationship survive um, their widely different lives and meddling families. That's like a quick, short, you know, synopsis of the entire series. It stars Adam Rody, um, Justine Lupe. I don't know why I said it like that. I said it like in Nigeria. <laughs> Justine Lupe. <laughs> Moving on. Christine Bell, Timothy Simmons, Jackie Thorne, and um, Emily Arlock. There's a lot more people in there. Uh... Sherry Cola and uh, Stephanie Farassi. When I tell you, here's the thing. Let's start. Let's start simple. Adam Brody and Kristen Bell are some of my favorite all-time actors ever. Easy peasy. They are. They are also so underrated. I don't think they really are, but I feel like they are, for how much nobody talks about how talented they are. When I started watching this, it was, it's was it been on my watch list for a bit. I, I was like, okay, let's just get it done. And I realized that it was only 10 episodes and each episode was like 22 minutes or 20 minutes, you know? They're not long. Wow. Fell in love hard. If you haven't watched this and you don't mind, you know, crude humor, lots of talk, lots, lots of talk about sex, um... Go see this. It's so good. It's so freaking good. And the chemistry between Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. Wow. Dax Shepard and uh, Lady Mister should be worried. <laughs> they should be worried. But that's the testament to how great their acting is. How great of an actor each of them is. They are so good. I loved it. I loved it. Um, This also had one of the cutest meet cutes I've ever seen in cinema, cinema history. For me. The way they met, the way they instantly fell in love with the, each other, and that first kiss. That first kiss was electric. I love the show. I love it. If I had any, um, I didn't know, I don't know a lot about Jewish culture, and they do kind of educate you throughout it. Like, like it says, she's agnostic. You know, she doesn't really have a religion. He's a freaking rabbi. <laughs> so, like, the, the, the difference between the two of them is huge and they have to navigate this through you know their attraction for each other their family is not accepting it uh the sister the sister was my least favorite person in this i like she's the kind of character that i would have liked but for some reason i just did not mm, latch onto her i just didn't mm -mm, she wasn't my favorite person also there's this thing going on between the sister and his brother and i'm like that's a recipe for disaster somebody clocked that weekly i honestly think that's gonna lead to trouble but we just have to wait they already got renewed for a second season so we're getting it we don't know if it's gonna be as good you know as season one but we'll just have to wait and see i i thought it was i, I it was fantastic everything about this was amazing it was not just you know a sex uh podcaster um dealing with a rabbi and then create um and them trying to figure out a relationship. It was also about a boy and a girl who just like each other and want to be together. And their families keep trying, kept trying to, you know, push them apart. Loved it. His sister-in-law was a problem. Like, I've never, I, I think maybe it's because it's Jewish tradition or Jewish culture where they just don't fight back. But if my sister-in-law or my, yeah, if my sister-in-law ever wanted to butt heads into my relationship i'm gonna shut that ship down real quick i'm gonna insult you i'm gonna insult my brother i'm gonna insult the whole family because no that was too much it was too interesting i get it that um the rabbi was dating her best friend and that didn't really work out but the best friend was also doing too much and i'm not trying to spoil too much in case you guys haven't seen it i really do want you guys to go and watch it and enjoy it from a fresh perspective but i I just could not stand the sister-in-law at the beginning. I like I like people like that. I like women of strength. 
I even like strong characters, you know, women who are strong characters. I just felt like she was she was crossing too many boundaries. Everybody was. But again, is that a Jewish thing? I don't know. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I actually really enjoyed it. My favorite people were hands down Adam Brody and Kristen Bell. I love them. I think they're fantastic actors. I'm very excited to see how this whole relationship plays out because I don't think that the families are going to let it happen. But it is what it motherfucking is. This is just a quick quick review to let you guys know that if you haven't seen it go see it this is approved 100 percent if i had to give it a rating i would give it a 9.5 out of 10 it was that good it was funny it was crude <laughs> it was romantic it was sexy like it was everything wrapped up in one bundle and just handed to us on a silver platter loved it Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Sure to do all the right things. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Also, check out my other channel and my Patreon. We have fun there. <laughs> Bye.